Hi everybody, welcome to today's Heart Thought. Today is Talk to the Heart Tuesdays, and today's quote is by Joseph Campbell. If you follow your bliss, doors will open for you that wouldn't have opened for anyone else. Finding a connection to your heart is a really tough thing to accomplish. We're used to giving the head and logic full control over our lives, so it's very difficult to hear the whispers of the heart. There's a softness to the heart that can be difficult to hear over the busyness of, of the mind. Remember yesterday we talked about the mind having up to 2,000 random thoughts flying through it? Well, the heart doesn't speak to us like that. The heart whispers at you in order to give you the information you need to live into bliss. So how do you hear that whisper over the noise of the mind? We do it by becoming mindful. It's a bit of a dichotomy, isn't it? But when we can learn to quiet that brain and realize that those thoughts, we don't have to pay attention to them. We can just learn to let them flow by. Then we are connected to the heart. Meditation is a great way to connect with the heart because it helps you to quiet that mind chatter. When I started to meditate almost 25 years ago now, I had such a difficult time quieting my mind. I could maybe sit for a second and I was thinking, I can't do this, I just can't, I, there's no way, my mind's going like, I, I have a racing mind. But what I learned to do was to see my thoughts as if they were sitting on clouds. And so I would see a thought in my mind's eye on a cloud and I would just watch it float by. And I could choose whether or not I wanted to actually pay attention to it, or I could just let it float by. You know, the mind has a job. Its job, it's like a computer. It has to take in a lot of information, and it has to quickly process that information. And then it gives that information to our hearts, and our logic, and our being, in order to make sense of those thoughts, those random thoughts that are flying by. We don't want to stop the process of thinking. We can't do that any more than we can stop the heart from beating. But we can understand that not every thought needs to be paid attention to. And that's what meditation does for you. Becoming mindful allows you to determine in that moment whether or not that thought has enough relevance that you need to pay attention to it. The meaning we give to thoughts is what we have control over. And the more we meditate, the more we get to live in the now. I know meditation is not fun. So we're going to talk, especially on Friday, about how you can meditate and connect to the now in your everyday life in an easy way. So I really look forward to speaking with you tomorrow when it is Wounds to Win Wednesdays. Doesn't that sound like fun? It's actually my favorite day of the week, hump day. Getting over the hump towards the weekend. Uh, thank you so much for stopping in. Please subscribe to the channel, share it with everyone you know, and let's do what we can to help cultivate a heart-centered collective intelligence. Take care.